Hi, my friends. Today we're going to read Jonathan James and the What If Monster. It's a book all about worries. Do you worry sometimes? It's okay. I do too. Let's see what Jonathan James does with his What If Monster. Some What If Monsters like to hang out and fill our heads up with worry and doubt. They are sneaky and quiet and quick as a blink. The words that they whisper can change how we think. Jonathan James heard those words full of dread and all those what ifs got stuck in his head. What if you tumble? What if there's wind? What if you slip and your knee gets all skinned? What if they giggle? What if it's chilly? What if you jump and you look really silly? What if it's hard? What if you're bad? What if they laugh and make you feel sad? What if it's ugly? What if it stinks? What if that's what everyone thinks? What if it's yucky? What if it's icky? What if mom yells because you're too picky? What if it's dark? What if it's scary? What if there's something giant and hairy? What if you lose? What if you were last? What if you're slow and never get fast? What if she laughs? What if she runs? What if she thinks you're not any fun? Now wait just a minute. I have something to say after hearing what ifs all throughout the day. I hear all your worries. I hear all your claims. But what if you're wrong? Asked Jonathan James. So the what if monster is telling him all of his worries about climbing trees, playing basketball, jumping into the pool, making pictures, maybe some monsters in the closet, running a race, making new friends. Hmm. But he's saying, what if? What if I climb to the top of that tree and I never slip or skin up my knee? And what if I jump right into the pool and everyone thinks I look really cool? And what if baseball is nothing but fun and I end up hitting a triple home run? And what if my drawing goes up on the wall and everyone thinks it's the best one of all? And what if I taste some of that food and it puts my mouth in a really good mood? And what if I run in a really big race and have a great time no matter what place? And what if I sleep and have the best dream? The monsters are sweeter than they all seem. And what if the chance I take in the end is just how I find my very best friend? The end. So it's okay to worry sometimes. But if you have if you have anything you want to talk to about your worries. Your teachers are always here and your parents are always here and your siblings are always here. It's okay to worry, but try to talk them out. Miss you.